This is the operation portion of the operator training video for the Hobart CLEN wear wash machine. The operation of your CLEN is a simple process. Make sure that the dishwasher is clean and that all parts are in place. Install the standpipe and integrated pump intake screen in the wash tank. Install the slanted strainer pans and lower the deep collection bucket. Install the upper wash arm and the lower wash arm with all end caps. Hang all curtains according to the appropriate curtain diagram in the operator's manual. Close all doors to lower the drain standpipe and integrated pump intake screen. To begin filling, press the power button. Note, if your machine is equipped with gas heat, refer to starting the gas heat dishwasher instructions in the operator's manual. The water temperatures in the tank and the Hobart built-in electric booster heater for the rinse is regulated by solid state thermostats. The control is preset at the factory and no adjustment should be required. The digital display on your wear washer verifies proper water temperature during operation. After the machine has filled, start the pumps by pushing the start key on the keypad or inserting a rack into the machine. The machine will operate only if the tanks have filled to the proper level and all doors are closed. Press the stop key on the keypad if you wish to stop the conveyor, pumps, and final rinse. Pre-scrap dishes thoroughly to remove large food particles and debris. Note, never use steel wool on ware that is to be loaded into the dishwasher. Load dishes into the racks. Do not stack dishes one on top of the other as water must have free access to both sides of every dish. Stand plates and dishes up edgewise as shown. Cups, glasses, and bowls should be inverted in open type or compartment type racks. Silverware and other small pieces may be scattered loosely over the bottom of a flat bottom rack. The external scrap basket may be emptied while the machine is in operation. To empty the basket, Simply pull the basket from the dishwasher, empty it, and replace. Do not attempt to wash large items such as pots, pans, and trays without first checking to make sure they will fit through the machine opening. Caution! Do not allow foreign objects to enter dishwasher, especially metallic contaminants. When a rack has been loaded, slide it into the machine and start loading another. The operation of the dishwasher is semi-automatic. When a rack enters the machine, the pumps and conveyor automatically start. Each rack moves through the pre-wash, wash, and rinse zones, then out onto the clean dish table. The rinse lever is actuated by the dish rack when it is present in the rinse zone and automatically shuts off the final rinse water when no rack is present. Allow dishes to drain and air dry before removing the wear from the rack. The pot and pan feature will conveniently add wash time for pots and pans. The rack will pause during the wash, making sure that heavily soiled cookware is cleaned properly, saving the operator from the time-consuming task of hand washing or soaking wear. An overload mechanism will shut off the conveyor drive motor if the racks jam or the load becomes excessive. After the jam is cleared, push the start key on the keypad to restart the dishwasher or allow another rack to enter the machine. All tank temperatures display on the control readout when the machine is in operation. When the wear reaches the rinse zone, the final rinse temperature will display. If the tank is accidentally drained before turning off the power switch, the float controlled low water protector switch will automatically stop the tank heat. When the proper water level is returned, the tank heat will automatically restart. Caution! Do not use low water protection as a power on off switch. Press the power key on the keypad to turn the machine off when not in use. Contact your local Hobart office for any adjustments or repairs needed on this equipment. This concludes operation of the Hobart CLEN. For more information, please click on one of our other videos